Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. I know I'm ready for circle time. Are you ready for circle time? All right, let's begin. Here we sit together, together, together. Here we sit together, together at home where your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Here we sit together, together at home with Mr. Justin. And everyone get ready to say your name. Ready? One, two, three, say your name. That was great. Here we sit together, together at home. All right. Well, first things first, let's talk about what a wonderful weekend we had with the weather. It was so nice out. I spent tons of time outside. I hope you all spent as much time outside as you can. Because it's spring, it's getting warmer, and that's so exciting. I would love to hear what you did this weekend. Maybe some of you rode bikes. Maybe some of you played outside in your backyard. Maybe you went on a nice nature walk. If you did anything fun this weekend, let us know. So we have new letters, shape, and number of the month because it's, does anyone know what month it is? It's May. Yes, it is May. And we have our new shape of the month, which is a, anyone know? This is a diamond or a rhombus. It has two names. We call it a diamond at school, but it's also known as a rhombus. And how many sides does this have? Four, that's right. One, two, three, four. Now, I know some of you were thinking this kind of looks like a square, but when I turn it this way, you can see that these sides are not the same. They're a little off from each other, which makes it a rhombus. It's kind of like a silly square that is leaning a little bit. And that's a diamond or a rhombus. Our new number is number nine. This is number nine. And can we count up to nine? Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. And Nine does look a, di a lot different. I'm shooting on a camera, so it flips it. So if you can see, this is what nine really looks like. But because I'm on a camera, it flips it. And we only have two letters this month. Can anyone guess why? That's right. We're at the end of the alphabet. At the end of this month, we will have talked about all of the letters in the alphabet. So... I think you guys are all really familiar with this letter because we actually have it painted on one of the walls in the school. Any guesses? It's a Y. Yeah, this is a Y. And a Y makes a sound that's like yuh, yuh, yuh. Like yuh, yuh, yuh. Yogurt. You guys all always have yogurt for lunch. And yuh, yuh, yuh. Yarn, which we use to lace a lot at school. This animal you might not have heard of, but it's a yak, a yak, 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 yak. It's kind of like a buffalo. And these are signs that are important to pay attention to when you start to drive. This is a yak, 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 yield sign. And a yield sign just means you need to slow down a little bit. So that is a Y. And we have an, anyone know? It's an F, and an F makes a sound that goes fa fa fa, like fa 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 feather, fa 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 football. We eat our lunch with a fa 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 fork. This is a fa 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 fishy. We keep cool with a fa 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 fan, and it starts the number fa 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 four. So that is our letters. We have a Y and an F. So our tracing activity today is to trace Fs. I'll show you the tracing page. So since this one is bigger, who could tell me? Is it uppercase or lowercase? Uppercase, that's right. And I'll trace some of these Fs for you. We'll start with our uppercase F. So that's our uppercase F. And then this is our lowercase F. That's right. Our lowercase F. 
And if you want to try writing them on your own in these boxes, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to. Um, and I gave you guys a bunch of space down here if you want to do some name tracing. So I'll just write my name really quick. I wrote Justin. Um, but you guys can draw pictures down here. Whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. It's your paper. It's your choice. All right. I hope you all have a very fun Monday, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. wonderful weekend and enjoyed that beautiful weather. So this weekend, Machine did a lot of work in her garden. And I thought it'd be fun to do a little activity that had to do with gardening. So I have some shapes in my flower garden, but I'm just not sure where they go. So I think you can help me figure it out. Are you guys ready? Awesome. So I have some shapes here. So we are going to look over here and see what is the first shape. A circle. Can you guys help me find the circle? Hmm. Very good. Here's the red circle. That's a beautiful flower. All right. The next shape. It has one, two, three, four sides. What shape do you think it could be? A square. Awesome job, friends. All right. Now this is one of Machina's favorite shapes. What shape do you think this is? What do you think it could be? Yes, it's a heart. Good job, friends. Your garden is looking fabulous. All right. What shape is next? Hmm, this one's a little tricky. So it has four sides, kind of like a square, but there's something different about it. It's much longer. So do you see a shape that's a little bit longer than a square? Yes, a rectangle. Awesome job. Oh, the next shape is the shape of the month. Who can see if they can see a diamond? Very good, friends. All right. And the next shape is a triangle. Do you see a triangle? Awesome. Now the next shape is a little bit tricky, but I know you guys will be able to figure it out because it was the shape of the month last month. Do you know what the shape that is? A trapezoid. Good job. And here it is. Whoa, look at your shape garden. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you. Do you think you can help me count to see how many flowers grew in our garden? Awesome, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. So we have seven flowers in our garden. Awesome, friends. I hope you enjoyed this little activity with me, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, my friends. So today we are going to read A House in the Woods by Inga Moore. It is a book that we've read many times at the center, so I hope you all enjoy it. A little pig had made a den for herself in the woods. Next door, another little pig had made himself a hut. One morning, the two little pigs went out walking together. One little pig found a feather and the other one found an interesting stick. But when the first little pig brought her feather home to her den, she discovered that Bear had moved in, which she didn't mind because she liked Bear. But Bear was so big that, oh dear, the den was wrecked. And when the second little pig went home to his hut with his stick, he discovered that Moose had moved in, which he didn't mind because he liked Moose. But Moose was even bigger than Bear, and when he stood up politely to say good morning, crash, the hut was also wrecked. Which left the two little pigs with nowhere to live, not to mention Moose and Bear. This was a pickle, it really was. 
Then Moose had a brilliant idea. Why not build a big house where they could all live together? Well, that was a good idea, except that building a big house with real windows and doors, a roof, stairs, and chimney stacks isn't easy. They couldn't do it on their own, so Moose called the beavers on the telephone. And soon afterward, a team of beaver builders came to help them. The beavers said that they wished to be paid in peanut butter sandwiches. No one had any objection. So they felled the timber. And the work began. By lunchtime, the walls of the house were up. And by dinner time, the roof was on. The lunch and dinner times were on different days, of course. Beavers are fast, but not that fast. Bear made the staircases and chimney stacks while Moose fitted the windows and doors. Then they both went with the two little pigs to the junkyard for furniture and curtains and all the other things that go inside a house. At last, the house was finished. The beavers handed over their bill and left. There was just enough time to get to the store to buy the bread and peanut butter. Then the little pigs helped Moose and Bear make six plates of peanut butter sandwiches, which they delivered in person to the beavers who had all gone back to their lodge on the lake. It had been a busy time for the little pigs and Moose and Bear. They had worked hard. Had it been worth it? What do you think? Just look, what a beautiful new house they have. Bear went to bed first because she was so tired. And after they had finished their supper and washed the dishes and told stories for a while around the fire, Moose and the two little pigs climbed the stairs to bed. Soon the only sounds to be heard were the soft cheeps of sleepy, of sleepy birds roosting in the rafters, the tiny rustling of wood mice and the fallen leaves outside, and just now and then the gentle snoring of Bear. Good night, Bear. Good night, Moose. Good night, little pigs. Sweet dreams, everyone. The end. All right, thank you so much for joining me, my friends.